Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Lawrence of Arabia and this movie is directed by David Lean and it came out in 1962 and the only other movie I've seen from this director is Bridge on the River Kwai, which I remember liking. I don't remember much about it, but I remember enjoying it. And this was considered a huge classic and I was interested to see it because it was on my poster of like a 100 movie bucket list is basically what it's called and I was just wanting to see it so I could scratch that off my poster and I did and going into it it's kind of daunting to watch a movie that's over three hours long <laughs> and I looked up to see the runtime it's like well over three and a half hours long and you go into a long movie and it's kind of either your time is going to be incredibly wasted or it's going to be a really great experience <laughs> and if it's considered to be a huge classic then you know maybe it might be good like movies that i really love that are three hours long like the godfather barry linden uh, well depending on which cut you watch of apocalypse now like if you watch uh, the final cut or the redux version then it's at least three hours long if not longer but the theatrical cut's only two and a half hours long or Oppenheimer, that's uh, one that's three hours long. And those are just some examples of movies that I love. And I tried to go into this movie with an open mind. And sadly, I walked away with some very mixed feelings on this movie. And I want to get into my positives first. I think that uh, this movie looks gorgeous. There's some nice, beautiful wide shots in this movie. I love uh, a lot of the shots in the desert, and that's mostly where this movie takes place, and you get some really, really great shots in this movie, and it really helped out my experience. It doesn't feel claustrophobic, and that's part of what I love, and I liked uh, certain scenes of the main character and uh, what he's learning, and I found that to be interesting, and there were definitely parts of this movie that I really enjoyed. And some of the best scenes in the movie for me was just scenes of like learning how to survive in the desert. At the very least, I enjoyed about half of the movie, whereas I didn't really enjoy the other half, but more on that later. I think uh, part of the reason why this movie is so long is because I think this is just a product of its time in a sense, where movies were just there to entertain and people wanted to like take a break of everything that they were doing and just watch a movie and if you watch a really long movie and have an intermission in between then uh, people can just uh, enjoy the film uh, for a longer portion of their day and it was just a different time and that's how people wanted to watch movies and from that perspective I do kind of understand why people would like it and why it's held up as a classic and there are things that I did enjoy about it and <laughs> there are lots of elements to appreciate about it as well. Like I admire the usage of practical effects and although the blood it doesn't look uh, real it looks like uh, red paint as pretty much every movie from uh, the 60s did they just used red paint because that's all they had to work with. But uh, most of that uh, I thought was well done and uh, Getting into my issues, I'm just going to start with like a tiny issue that I had was just something that I picked up was that there was some like audio editing that I found to be really odd. Like there were like cuts in between lines that made them feel a lot closer than they actually were. And as someone who edits their own videos, like I definitely noticed like a cut in between lines. Like I know where a cut in audio would happen. And it just felt very abrupt and was very distracting. Not so much to take a point off of my rating for the film, but enough for me to mention it because it happened at least three times. And like I said, I enjoyed half of the movie and the rest of the movie, the half that I didn't enjoy, I feel could have been just cut out of the movie. Like I would probably be on the side of loving this movie if the runtime was like half. Because, really, it's just a story that is, in any other movie, would be like 90 minutes long, possibly two hours. And they just stretch it out 
to a three and a half hour epic for no reason and well I do get the reason but it's just not for me I just find it to be distracting I was kind of bored <laughs> at many points in the film and also what uh, makes this movie suffer is that uh, the things that it's talking about and exploring it's not really anything that I haven't seen in any other movie like it they're talking about uh, the military and uh, how corrupt the system can get uh, towards the end of the film. And I was like, yeah, that's interesting. But that was kind of already explored in Paths of Glory. <laughs> like, they talk about that in that movie. And it's much better, in my opinion. And uh, going back to things that could be cut out, there was a scene that uh, was like our main character going back for one guy because he fell off his camel or something. And uh, that, I felt, could have been cut out. And it's... I kind of understand that this movie is trying to be a crowd pleaser in a sense and I guess that's just what audiences wanted but I'm just not after that I'm sorry I just feel as though it's eating up screen time and the fact that this whole thing goes on for like I don't know at least 10 minutes you get like five minutes of a character who's talking about don't go back because it's a bad idea and he just goes back and it takes, I don't know, an, another five to ten minutes to go get him and get get back. And it just felt unnecessary. And there are plenty of scenes like that in the movie where it's just unnecessary. And there's also, like, scenes where no dialogue is happening, but you get beautiful shots of the desert. And it's just showing off everyone walking in this army in a crowd and... I felt as though that happened way too many times. And I never bothered to count because I was just getting bored with it. But it happened enough times where it started to ruin the pacing. Because I wouldn't necessarily mind this pacing if it was just in service of something that I really cared about. And I was into it for a while. And then I just get bored after a while. And <laughs> it's just my own personal investment that's just really lacking for me it's too simple of a story for me maybe that's it i i don't know all i can say is that in my opinion there was just something not really holding it together and i guess partially uh, the reason i feel that way is because i feel as though a decent amount of the movie was not focused on the plot it was focused on uh, the side characters that i don't think are that interesting to watch but if you like uh, that uh, kind of stuff, then that's fine. I'm not going to take that away from you. I kind of want to talk about uh, the first five minutes of the movie, like after it's like completely black <laughs> and you get into the opening credits and you see our main character driving on a motorcycle and there wasn't any dialogue going on and it was just showing him uh, driving a motorcycle. And that right there was kind of a red flag for me because I was kind of worried that the whole movie was going to be like this and sadly I was right it was just lingering on a lot of things for way too long and it just didn't move for a decent amount of it and that's about all I have to say about Lawrence of Arabia I'm glad that uh, people love it if uh, you love this movie then more power to you as I always say with the movies that are very popular that I don't care too much for. It's decently made and there are things to appreciate within it. It's just mostly my own personal investment, which I consider to be very important. And if something clicks with you, it clicks with you. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And sadly, this is just a film that didn't click with me. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Lawrence of Arabia a 5 out of 10. I'm sorry, everybody. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Lawrence of Arabia and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for The Conversation. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.